Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about how to convert grams to moles or moles to grams using conversion factor method. Here is the first question. How many moles are there in 450 grams of CaCO3? So we want to convert grams to moles. When, uh, whenever we want to convert between grams and moles, the first thing we need to do is to find the molar mass of that compound. So here our compound is CaCO3. So we need to find the molar mass of CaCO3. So the molar mass of CaCO3 equals, so how many calcium do we have? We have one atom calcium plus one atom carbon plus three atom oxygen. By looking at your periodic table, you can uh, plug in the molar mass of Ca, which is 40.08. 40.08 plus molar mass of carbon, which is 12.01, plus three times the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16.00. And once you add these values up, you will get the molar mass of CaCO3, which is 100.09 grams per mole. So this means one mole of CaCO3, CaCO3 has a mass of 100.09 grams. This is the meaning of molar mass. And this. So let's continue solving the question. Here's a formula for conversion factor method how we can use this formula to solve this type of question. So given value times conversion factor equals required value. What is conversion factor? Conversion factor is a ratio between given value and required value. So in this question, what is this relation? Is the relation between moles, one mole of CaCO3 and grams of CaCO3. And by finding the molar mass, we already know what is the relation. So as we said, each one mole of CaCO3 has a mass of 100.09 grams CaCO3. So our conversion factor is the left side of the equal, of the equal sign divided by the right side, or, okay, we say one mole CaCO3 over the right side, which is 100.09 grams CaCO3. Or we can say the right side over left side, 100.09 grams CaCO3 over one mole CaCO3. Both of these conversion factors are correct. Depending on the question, you have to decide which one to choose. So in this question, what's our given value? Our given value is 40 grams of CaCO3. So let's write that down. So given value is for 50 grams of CaCO3 times our conversion factor. So we have two conversion factors here. Which one should we use? We have to use the one which has grams in denominator so that can cancel out with, with this one because we're, we're trying to get rid of the grams and convert it to moles. So we have to choose the first one because it has a gram in denominator. So, I, so we would go with this one, have 100.09 grams Again, 100.09 grams CaCO3 in denominator, and we have one mole of CaCO3 on the top. As you know, this cancels this one, and we'll end up with 450 times 1 divided by 100.09. If you put that in your calculator, you will get four. 0.496 moles CaCO3. This is our answer. 
So for 50 grams of CaCO3 equals 4.496 mole of CaCO3. Let's do another example. How many grams are in 0 0.346 moles of Na2SO4? So we have moles, we want to convert from moles to grams. So again, the first thing we need to do is to find the molar mass of this compound. So let's find the molar mass of Na2SO4 as equals. So I have two atoms of Na, so two Na, plus one atom S plus four atoms oxygen. Check your table of value and plug in the molar mass for those atoms. So two times the molar mass of Na, which is 22.99, plus the molar mass of S, which is 32.06, plus four times the molar mass of O, which is 16.00. If you put this in your calculator, the molar mass of NaSO4 equals 142.02 grams per mole. And again, this means one mole of this compound, Na2SO4, has a mass of 142.02 grams. So let's use our formula and find the answer. Convert this to grams. So we said, our formula said, given value times conversion factor equals the required value. So what is our given value here in this question? Our given value is this, 0 0.346 moles of Na2 so far. Let's write that down. We have 0 0.346 moles of Na2 SO4 times our conversion factor. So let's find our conversion factor. We said conversion factor is the relation between given, the ratio between the given value and required value. So the relation between moles and grams for this compound is this right here. Let me write it down on our next page. We said one mole Na2SO4 has a mass of 142.02 grams. And we know the conversion factor can, we have two conversion factors. The first one can be one mole of Na2SO4 over the right side, which is 142.02 grams of the compound. Or we can have another conversion factor, which is the right side or left side. So 142.02 grams in A2SO4 over one mole in A2SO4. So which one should we choose? Because we have mole here and we need to get rid of that and convert it to grams. So I have to choose the one which has mole in denominator. So we go with this one, the second one. So we have to choose this conversion factor. Okay, let's write that down. I need moles in denominator. So one mole in A2 is 04. And on the top, we write 142.02 grams of Na2 is 04. Again, this moles of Na2 is so for cancels this one and we end up with 0 0.346 times 142.02 grams in A2 is so for. If you put that in your calculator, you will get this answer, which is 49.1 grams of Na2 is so for. That's our answer. So this is how we 
convert grams to moles or moles to grams. Thank you for watching.